morning YouTube family I hope everyone is having a wonderful morning there's Bear and Bonnie thinking they're gonna get a treat but they're not I am waiting on a package to come in but I'm gonna be running out to go to town today hold on just one second okay I had to correct my dogs and um, I'm gonna be going to the Dollar Tree and Walmart I'm gonna be looking at the wheat the flour everyone knows that there is a percentage of certain types of wheats in every flour and I'm also going to be checking out the prices for the oil and I'm going to pick up some more. So um, I don't want to miss my package. I have a very important one coming in. I'm going to show you right now the oil that I have. And in the kitchen I have some oil here. I have vegetable oil, coconut oil, I have olive oil. Then on the other side of the cabinet I have my shortenings and my Crisco and my lard. Also, in the stock pantry, I have some peanut oil, and I also have another uh, tub of lard. So that is the oil that we have at this moment. It is a beautiful day, but it is going to rain. It says about 3 o'clock, so I need to get busy. And I just want to say that this video is going to be a little slower, a little slower shopping video than most of my others, because I am not... I know it doesn't look like it, but I, I'm when I go in to get something, I like to go in and get it. But I am going to slow it down this time because we have some uh, people that cannot get out. They have to have their food brought to them. And so they enjoy seeing what's on the shelves because they cannot go out and look for them themselves. So, um, hold on. and thank y'all so much for watching the videos. I welcome all of our new subscribers. Welcome to Raphael's Refuge and our family. We uh, appreciate you. If you're just stopping in to see what we're doing, that's fine too. Thank you for um, stopping in. And to our subscribers that's been with us for a while, um, thank you for continuing to support us. It means so much to us and we love you and pray for you all the time. We all know that um, there's shortages there and they're gonna get worse my concern is the oil of course and the wheat you can see it all over the news if you watch other prepping channels you can um, they talk about it as well um, I know what's going on in the world Leon and I are very well um, uh, you know we, we follow it we know what's going on in every area Thank y'all so much uh, for the ones that are emailing me, giving me information. I appreciate it so much. And um, that is always welcoming. So never feel like that you cannot email me. Email me anytime you want. I just feel that if you can, I know there are a lot of important things that you need to get. Rice and beans, I'm always preaching about that. But all is very important. Flour is important as well. Uh, I have videos on flour, how long it can be stored, and the ways that I store it. And so, um, I think that you should get some. It's very wise to get it while it's cheap and while it's there. Um, let me go check my mom's message to make sure she's okay. Right, you guys, I am at the Dollar Tree. Okay, they have changed their shelves a little bit, but... <clears throat> oh, wow. This right here is to make wreaths. And you have your rope. That's pretty cool. That's actually really cool. Get some rope because we make Maya's toys. Leon makes Maya's toys. Yeah, you see why I, sh I, I don't need to come in this uh, section. I gotta get some of this. <laughs> Guys, I do not have any aloe soothing gel. This could come in handy. I'm gonna grab some of these. 
don't have any of that. So I'm by the flower section and the cards. I have never been over here. I don't really stop <laughs> to look at stuff like this, but I'm kind of intrigued. It is really some cute stuff, you guys. Um, I know it's not important, but it's cute. Okay, so here is another um, bag. It's got the handle. I always grab these bags because you can put gifts in them. And also got some bubbles just to put in the grandkid room. Okay, I am moving right along out of that section. And this is the party section where you get all your party supplies. And there's the bags. Here is the toy section. And um, there's not much. Here is your cleaning supplies. And I am going, going to grab some of this. So this is new. I have never seen this before. It's Palm, palm Olive Spray. Okay, so I'm going to get some of this. Palm, palm Olive Spray. Completely forgot that everything, I think, is 125 So <laughs> I have to remember that. All right, so this is the dog aisle and the uh, stickers and things. I normally do not go down this aisle, but um, I just want to come into the office section. I thought that was the office section, but it is not. <laughs> so <laughs> uh, let me just come over here, y'all, where I need to be. Okay, so this is the toothpaste that I use. This is what the shelves are looking like. So I just got three of those, and then, of course, I always pick up the grandbabies, some toothpaste. I do not have any of this. I think everyone should have some of this, just in case you have a toothache, toothache or something like that. So I'm going to grab a couple of these to put in our um, medical stock. I didn't see these down here. There's a lot of it, you guys. So um, I am going to get some of this. It's different than this one right here. So I got some more. So that's what I have. And of course, I had to get this cute little doggy toy. That's the makeup. This is the Q-tips. The soap. Okay. Uh, the men's products. The medicine area. So, uh, the medicine. It's the shampoo, and I am going to grab some more shampoo. So, let me look. So, this time I think I'm going to grab it's this right here Silkiance Hair Pro Formula Hydrating Shampoo. It is 32 flow ounces. So I got the conditioner. This right here is shampoo and conditioner two in one. So I got two of these. Look at this. This is new. It is a, it's peppermint and you roll it on your, uh, your wrist. Hmm. And here's some tea, um, tea tree. So I'm going to grab these two because, um, I've seen this on YouTube. But I've never seen it in the Dollar Tree, so. These collapsible storage containers are really useful. I'm going to grab yeah, some I of know. these. Well, I got some. You got some? Mm -hmm. Oh. Good. They good? Yeah. To store things with, huh? Uh -huh. <laughs> I'm going to grab three of them, y'all. I have bleach. I'm so excited that they have bleach. I've got my chlorine tablet, so I'm not going to get any bleach because um, I'm safe with my chlorine tablets and I have some stored up. Okay, here is the um, cereal and the jello aisle. Maya loves those and these. I'm going to grab some of those from Maya. So if you're looking for instant coffee, here it is in a little container. And remember that instant coffee not open has an indefinite shelf life, okay? Um, these are $1.25. Hmm. I'm going to 
going to grab five of these because these are good to hand out just in case someone's in need. Fine. They have lots of product in this area. I'm so, Look at the product. Lots of product right here. Okay, so I've got... Hold on. I've got four of the Hungry Jack dried tomatoes. Okay, these are good. And I also got four more jambalaya packs. You can tell there are plenty of them. So, uh, yeah. These cheese packets are good. They used to be a dollar. They're a dollar twenty-five, but they're good. They're in a type mylar type bag, so they're safe. I might go on and grab four more of these. I have never seen this. It is 16 flow ounces of taco sauce. Wow, this is new. I'm gonna grab two of those. Here's your rice and your beans. There's pinto beans, black beans, and lentils. That's all they have. So I don't see dried onions anymore, but oh well. I know this is a small amount, but here's some coconut oil, you guys. So, um, and then here's the pepper grinders. You even have your salt and pepper right here. These are good to get if someone's in need. This is a good little package to give them. This right here is new. It's vegetable bouillon in a powder form. Wow, I've never seen that before. I'm going to get four of these. I wasn't planning on getting this much, <laughs> but look, anytime you find something in a powder form, get it, okay? Um, you can't go wrong with uh, things in a powder form. Okay, so here is your Vienna sausages. Of course, that is way too high, $1.25. And then um, here's your canned product. And the Rotel, $1.25. No, a little cheaper than Walmart, though. Um, they're $1.27 at Walmart. So I'm not going to get any King Goods, but I'm just showing you that they do have some here. So this is the end of the aisle. And there you go. Here is the juice and the candies on my left. I'll show you real quick. Here's the candy. And, um, you know, there is some empty gaps down there. Here is the juice. I'm going to pan you around. There's the juice. I'm not getting any of that. Um, I didn't see any milk over there. Let me go look. Gaps in the candy there. People must be buying or they're not getting product. So I like to get these. There's two in the pack and it has lids. Um, in case I cook for somebody and I like to send it to them in those. So this is just the uh, Tupperware, you know, your plasticware, and this is the glassware. I'm over here in this department, and these right here are good <laughs> to eat popcorn in. Um, they're not very big. I can't, I don't see the thing. I don't have my glasses on. So I'm going to get three of these, and then I'm going to get a, a, this spoon right here, because I needed a new one. And I got a loaf of bread. And also this right here. I had one and it bent, but I think I'm going to use these for my berries when I go to crush them up. So, yeah. This is so cute. Live every moment, laugh every day, and love with all your heart. Uh, the ones I have are Christmas. <laughs> I think I need to change them out, so I am going to get one of these. Do you see what happens when I slop, shop slow? I tend to look at everything um, hmm, and probably buy more than what I should. So I'm going down the uh, cleaning aisle right here. Let me turn the camera back around. Okay, so here's your the cleaning aisle. Here's the um, tissue and the toilet paper and all the paper items. They, they, I have not seen the Dollar Tree this stock in a long time. Of course, you're going to have your gaps. You know, you're going to have gaps in everything, but I'm, I'm very um, happy that they have lots of product. Now, 
the frozen section's a little sparse. I'm gonna get one of these for the side of my bed. It's just a small box of tissue. So I got three of them. I wanna get more, but I'm just gonna get three this time. I'm gonna get some wheat bread too. I always freeze my bread. Finally, the office section. So I need a Sharpie. Trying to go slow, y'all. Oh, I need some envelopes. Yeah. So here's the large envelopes. You get 40 for a dollar twenty-five. You get 80 for a dollar twenty-five. I'm getting two of these and one of the small. So I'm getting some index cards for my um, recipes because I'm gonna start my recipe box soon. And what else do I need? So I don't see any pins. Just regular pens. I, I don't see any personally, I don't think. I'm looking, I do not see any. So um, there's some right there. Oh, that's permanent markers. Chalk. Yeah, I do not see any pens. So um, this is the the craft section. So they are lacking in the craft section. But, um, hmm. Yeah, I don't see any pins, so it's okay. Dollar Tree, I've got to go home and see if my package is on the uh, fence because I didn't wait and it's a very important package to me. And so I'm gonna run home and see if the package is there and then we're gonna run out to Walmart. So anyway, I talked to my mom and she's fine. We talked about uh, the wheat shortage and, shortage and she is going to go out and buy her some flour. And um, she's gonna put it in nine spots for a week or two and then she's gonna package it um, accordingly. So, um, I just want to let y'all know that, Mom, that I came home because you see my product is right here sitting on the outside of the gate. You see my product right there. I'll show you later. I just had a feeling that the product was here. You know, the thing that I ordered was here. So I'm so glad that I came home. So I'm not, I was going to put my stuff in the house, but I'm not. The dogs are going crazy. I'm going to go ahead and leave y'all that I have an exciting place that I'm going Thursday. My friend called me and invited me to a, something that we're having at the Coliseum. It's all about making jams and jellies. So it's a bunch of ladies that are getting together and um, we're going to make j jams and stuff, I guess. So if you, in your community, if, if maybe you can check, um, your community papers and if there's any type of classes like that whether you know how to do it or not it's just always wise to go because you can get to know a lot of people in your community plus uh, the skill of canning water bath canning and pressure canning is always very important for us ladies and guys to learn and to know so I'm very excited it's only five dollar entry fee I, I called Monday and signed up is what you're supposed to do and so Thursday, I am very excited to go to that. Hopefully, I will get to videotape a little bit. I'm not sure, but hopefully I will get to. Well, I am at Walmart. The gas is still 415. I was on the phone with Leon, so I could not videotape that. The sun is shining now, and it's not raining anymore. The price is gone off of the watermelon. <laughs> I don't know why. No price on the watermelon. Um, this caught my eye. Three fifty-six. Okay, that's two pounds. Hmm, that seems awful high. I'm not sure. Seventy-two cents for one lime. I'm sorry, I had to stop to show y'all. Seventy-two cents each. There's the Debbie cakes. Ramen noodles went up a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna stay focused. Here is the oil. Big old gap down there on the Crisco. Here is your coconut oil is $13.63. Corn oil, one gallon is eleven thirteen. Wesson, and it is a gallon is ten thirty four. One quart of a canola oil is three no that's crisco that's for the crisco they don't have a price on oh yeah uh wesson is 468 for a quart crisco is 397 i do not see a okay here it is right here 
288. So one quart of canola or 288. They just didn't have a price right here. So a gallon of the vegetable oil is 744 for a gallon of the vegetable oil. And then you have your lard for, for four pounds is 1012. Your Crisco for five pounds is 1346. Shortening for two pounds is 494. I do not see a price on this. gallons of peanut oil is $46.88. I believe one gallon of peanut oil is $18.28. Okay, so, hmm. Okay, so the oil prices are going up, but I came here to get it, and I'm going to get it before it goes up any, um, any more. I got a four pound of lard. Okay, so I'm going to get a gallon of, of canola oil and a gallon of corn oil. Okay, so here is your flour. You have your yellow cornmeal mix for uh, $2.96. Your, here's your great value for uh, $2.28, and it's five pounds. Um, oh, look at this, you guys very low so you have the white lily five pounds for 312 um, I just don't know what to get I really don't here's your all-purpose five pounds for 156 you can get 10 pounds for 334 and um, all the great value is gone right there. Okay, so I got an all vegetable shortening, a shortening, a lard, peanut oil, corn oil, western oil, three 10 pound bags of all purpose flour, and the only bag of light uh, baking white lily. I also got three more boxes of the instant dry milk. Okay. It's got your vitamin A, D. There's 10 3.2 ounces in their pouches. You can also get it in the bag. Uh, the boxes are $9.97. You can get it in the bag for $19.67. Or you can get it in the um, small boxes, which only contains three pouches um, for $3.43, I believe. So, I don't have my glasses on. You all know that we are very well, well stocked up on this. It has a shelf life of 20 plus years if pro stored properly. And we are very well stocked up on our all-purpose flour, our self-rising flour, and all of that, and our oil. But we are getting it before, as you can tell, the shelves are getting empty. We're fixing to have a wheat shortage, and the prices are going up. As simple as that. Okay, so I am on the washing powder aisle. Uh, we are very well stocked in washing powder, but I just used a container. I'm almost finished with my homemade washing powder. And I just think I'm going to get some more. You guys, we have all kind of washing powder at home. We have the homemade kind and a lot of product to make the homemade kind. We have the expensive kind. We have the cheap kind. I'm just going to get the cheap kind. When it all comes down to it, washing powder is washing powder to me. This is $9.94 for this Dawn, 2.21 pounds. Um, I have a, a little bit stocked up. I'm going to go ahead and get this one. And I did grab some toilet paper. And I got, I forgot to show y'all, this um, Sun... Triple clean, it's 178 medium loads for $7 and something. Very big. Okay, so this is the paper towel aisle. They do have plenty of toilet paper. 
I'm not quite sure if I showed y'all. There's plenty of toilet paper, but they're lacking in some paper towel. I'm gonna grab some. Okay, so I went ahead and got one gallon of Fabulosis, and it is $6.98. Okay, so this is what my buggy is looking like, and I've got to unload it all when I get home. And so um, I'm about to check out. Okay, you guys, I am leaving Walmart. My car is loaded up back here. I got all my product. I am headed home. I have some phone call calls to make. So I'm going to go ahead and close out this video. And I hope it encouraged you to buy you some oil and some flour. Or in, in any amount that you can. If you can only buy one oil, one flour, buy that. The next week, buy you another oil. The prices are going up. You guys, I've been stocking up on oil and flour. And all the products that you see that I bought at Walmart, I've been stocking up on. And the prices are going up. And we already know it's going to happen, so I don't know why I'm shocked. You know, it's just, if you can, get it now. You've seen that they hardly had any flour. And the prices are going to continue to go up. We have plenty of toilet paper, plenty of paper towels. But you've seen the paper towels. One week the toilet paper will be stocked. The next week the paper towels uh, be stocked and then you'll go in there and then you see uh, there's holy no paper towels but they have plenty of toilet paper and i don't know if i filmed that i'm exhausted i just got off the phone with leon and fingers crossed he found me a horse beautiful horse he sent me pictures he's been talking to this woman that lives almost in memphis so um, it's one that I can ride. It's four years old. It's a, it's a male, but he's, he's been neutered or whatever you say in, in horse language. He's beautiful. So, um, Friday we may go get him. And if we do, I'm definitely taking y'all along with us. So, I'm on my way home, you guys. And I love you. Jesus loves you. Stock up, prep, but enjoy your life as well. Um, uh, package that came in. I will make a separate video on that. And until next time, I will see you on the next video. Bye guys. A storm is coming. It is getting bad. Oh no. It's really, really getting bad. No, the thing fell over. Oh, and the um, th that come is really getting bad. So when it storms, I always close Maya's window. Hey, baby. Because uh, she does not like it when it storms. Look at that. It is really getting bad. So I always close her window. Hey baby, it's okay baby, it's okay. It's okay, hi. Oh, it's really raining now. Okay, I'll keep y'all up to date.